the threat of vaccine passports was used to try to cajole young people into getting the jab. Well, it worked for me. It worked for me. And I'm disgusted about myself, frankly. And I'm disgusted with this government for putting me in that position. 03444991000 is that number. I want to hear from you on this now. Do you think this is now state-sponsored bullying? It is, as far as I'm concerned. It's gaslighting. It's mafia-style tactics, what we're seeing now. If you don't pay us protection money, we'll burn your social life to the ground. That's where we are now with this Conservative government. And I don't like it for a second. But what an idiot Dominic Raab is for actually saying it. I imagine Boris Johnson straight on the phone. Dom, 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 did you have to go to say that? Well, because actually now, right, the government credibility is all gone. We now officially, thanks to Dominic Raab, can't believe a single word that comes out of this government's mouth. They are cajoling us. They are coercing us. They are pressuring us. They are threatening us all the time. And they're lying to us to try to get us to do what it is they want. This isn't it, right? We're not like naughty teenagers, OK? We don't need, like, you know, a, a kind of threat from our parents uh, from on high to go and do what they want us to do. They're standing up there on podiums. They're lying to us. They're manipulating our psychology to get what they want. And that has to be wrong. In fact, it has to be deeply offensive, doesn't it? I'm certainly offended by it. 03444991000. But just when you thought the award for the worst politician of the day was going down to old Dominic Raab's house, well, step forward, Chris Bryant. Thank you very much. Here we go. We've got room on this particular podium now for one more, haven't we? Brexiteers are idiots. Brexiteers are thick. That's what he thinks. I think he's an idiot. I think he's a bit thick because 54% of his own constituents voted for Brexit, apparently. I think they're thick as well, personally, because if Labour wants to win back those red wall seats, well, they're going a funny way about it, aren't they? The vast majority of people in those red wall seats voted for Brexit. They also voted Tory last time, didn't they? Mm, I wonder why that is. It's because people like Chris Bryant think they're idiots. Now, Chris Bryant actually has been on Twitter. He retweeted Talk Radio. So if you are listening, Chris, get on the show. We have been trying to get in touch with you. It'd be nice if you could actually come on and try and justify yourself as opposed to hiding behind a keyboard. But he goes, my profound apologies. My profound apologies. He tweeted a picture, retweeted a, a fake picture, really, obviously, I think, of a Sainsbury's store with some pretty bad language on it saying Brexiteers are thick. The food shortages have got nothing to do with the pandemic. It's all to do with Brexit. You need to get lost, get out of here. I mean, they use a lot more aggressive and forceful language than that. Right. He retweeted that. My profound apologies, he says. I hadn't spotted the appalling language and I've removed my retweet. Again, I apologise. So he's not sorry for insulting the public then. He's not sorry for insulting Brexiteers. He's not sorry for calling people like me, and I dare say quite a few of you, thick and idiots. Now, I may well be a bit thick, but not because I voted for Brexit. In fact, I find it absolutely amazing that anyone could say that, because if we hadn't voted for Brexit, where would we really be now? We wouldn't have had the kind of vaccine procurement that we've had, OK? We wouldn't have, whether you want the jab or not, you frankly would not, not necessarily have had the option to have the jab. We'd still be being ruled on high from a group of foreigners who we cannot elect or indeed de- deselect at any moment in time. Frankly, we don't even know who they are. Right, with no control really over our own borders, over our own money, or over, frankly, loads of different policies. In fact, we'd also be ruled currently by a foreign court. I think that's a bit thick, personally. I think that's a bit thick as an idea, right? So if we're doing it, I'll give it right back to you. This is why they lost, isn't it? And this is what really, I think, is the thickest thing of all. They have clearly not learnt at any point that what they're doing now is wrong and will cost them every single election from now until the end of time. If you insult the British public, if you think you're better than them, if you let it be known that you think you are on a higher intellectual plane than Dorothy from number 42, or whatever, or Keith from down the road, well, you know what? Their vote counts the same as yours. We all have the same share in our democracy in this country. And if you start insulting people as opposed to trying to appeal to them and trying to relate to them and trying to understand them, then you're, in, you're bang in trouble. You're bang in trouble. 03444991000. Our poll today is our Brexiteers thick. And I'd quite like us to all take part in that and maybe stick one to Chris Bryant. But I do find this absolutely staggering because if Labour do want to win back that red wall, then they are, as I've said, going a funny way about it. Emily Thornberry was accused of doing something similar as well. It's the last refuge of the perennial political loser. As opposed to admitting your own flaws and admitting your own failures and changing yourself and bothering to try to change. You just blame the public. Oh, well, they're thick. They don't get it. It can't possibly be anything I'm doing. It can't possibly be the fact that I'm deeply unpopular, my politics is out of touch and out of fashion, and they just don't like me as a person. It can't possibly be that. 
can it? No, it's got to be that the public, that you and I and everyone is actually thick. We just don't get it. Well, you know what? We do get it. And you know what? The next election, you're going to get it. And by get it, I mean an absolute kicking, right? Because this is going to keep on happening. 03444991000 is that number. Do you think Brexiteers are thick, right? Because tell you what, there's loads of people out there, and Chris Bryant is one of them who does. They can go on keep thinking we're thick, as far as I'm concerned, because they're going to go on losing. We're going to be doing that. Obviously, we are. We're also going to be talking about, uh, well, loads of stuff, right? We're going to be doing our political panel. We're also going to be talking, is a sign of mental strength? Is it a sign of mental strength to give up? I think Piers Morgan's playing a very dangerous game with this mental health stuff, to be perfectly honest with you, right? I think he's playing a very, very, very dangerous game. He's gone after a few people. Obviously, Meghan Markle, yeah, fine. Obviously, I'm not a fan of her. You know, he's gone after a couple of the athletes and uh, Naomi Osaka, the tennis player, etc., etc., etc. I think he's, he's he's in a very, very shaky territory if he starts accusing people of mental health. Because, look, obviously we hope this never happens, but it does only take one high-profile athlete to, let's say, you know, self-harm or kill themselves or something like that. And all of a sudden, Piers Morgan's cancelled, right? You cannot go around saying stuff like, you ultimately do not know, do you, what's going on in someone's life. You just have no idea. And I think, you know, he's probably had his nose put out of joint a little bit while what happened at GMB and, you know, with the whole mega mental health stuff, and he's doubling down, I think that's a very, very shaky territory. But look, people, we're going in, all right? We're going in. Coercion, state-sponsored bullying, with the old uh, Dominic Raab admitting, really, isn't he? Admitting that they were just using the threat of vaccine passports to try to coerce and cajole young people into getting a vaccine. That is mafia-style tactics, and I don't like it. We're also going to be doing the whole, our Brexit is thick, after Chris Bryant seemed to claim that we are 03444991000. It's Patrick Christie's It's Talk Radio.